Songwriter Alison Bullock, she's a DC native whose sound is described as jazzy soul mixed with the early 90s hip hop and RB beats. She's here today on The Sound. and welcome to The Sound. I'm here with homegrown talent, Alison Belanc. She's a rising neo-soul singer and songwriter whose first solo album release called Lost and Found recently had everybody going crazy <laughs> on the rooftop downtown at POV. <laughs> what was that like? Uh, that was great. So basically, uh, someone reached out to me about doing the show. They do a mm -hmm. live series where they feature anywhere from local artists to famous artists. And yeah. so this was a great opportunity for me to debut a lot of the new music that I've been putting out. So the project is a year-long project. Mm -hmm. It's basically set up like a diary. Wow. So each song reflects a lesson that I learned in 2016. I love so, that. Yeah, so with that, um, I've had blog posts attached to each song. There's been a photography series as well. So it really illustrates in depth what everything was about. So it was great to be able to explain to the people that were there, you know, about each song. And have people receive song. it. Mm -hmm. I want to hear it on the sound. So who's going <laughs> with us today? Um, we have Funcho on the bass. Alton on drums and L on the keyboard. And the first song is called? The first song is called So Real. All right, let's keep it real. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Take it away. You and me 
but it ain't love, no. It just feels so close, yeah. It feels like love, yeah. But it ain't love, no. It just feels so close, yeah. We only get so close, but yet so far. Resembles love foolishly holding tight onto what isn't love constantly on the search for what resembles love foolishly holding tight onto what isn't love I can't call you in a crisis no I can't look to you for guidance no even though you've been Something deep in my soul that's missing. Oh, it's missing. Yeah. But boy, who are we kidding? We both know the shit ain't the real thing. Yeah. We're settling. We're settling, yeah. settling, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, when we come back, I'll have a chance to sit down and talk to Allison about being a part of something called the Next Big Thing Movement, plus a whole lot more. Stick around for the sound. Welcome back to The Sound. I'm Britt Waters here with talented DC native Allison Belonk. This year, Allison released her first solo album, but long before that, she won a lot of contests, including the Are You the Lipstick Talent Search. <laughs> that sounds fun. What is that about? So um, the former manager of Mambo Sauce, which was a, a well-known go-go band in mm. DC, uh, he had put together a contest called Are You the Lipstick? So basically he was looking for a female singer to be a part of this new band that was semi-rock, semi-go-go. Awesome. And um, I tried out for it. Yeah. And you know, you, you had to basically do your marketing online and get people to vote for you. And mm -hmm. if you were voted, you'd get to stay on. You know, some people dropped off, you know, this it was like, like week by week. Full scale, almost American Idol type thing. Yeah, <laughs> it was like local old DC Idol, but yeah. <laughs> but um, so I just, you know, I came up with like a marketing idea and I called it the many faces of A and I just would sing a different song and kind of talk about my day and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I think people really liked that. So I kept moving up 
and going yeah. forward. So I eventually made it to the end and I ended up winning. So great. <laughs> You've come such a long way. And you're uh, from DC. What part of DC are you from? Well, I'm actually from, grew up in Silver Spring. I oh, live okay. in DC now. I live in Southeast now. But okay. Yeah, I love. I, I've always been in DC. A lot of the if activities and things, and my social activities, music activities, have always. Have been you always here, wanted so. to do music? I have. Okay, so yes. how has the kind of the DC, Maryland, Virginia scene, the music scene changed? Um, I do think that R and B now is starting to make a push forward. Mm -hmm. um, there's other artists like the gentlemen that are here with me today, Foon Show and L, and myself that um, are really trying to put R and B back on into yes. the spotlight. We are welcoming it here on the sound because <laughs> you guys sounded amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So who else have you worked with locally? Oh, let me think. Because you've worked with a lot of big local artists. Um, I, I have a lot of a large network of local artists that I know. Yes. Um, I've worked with Track. I've worked with Task. I've worked with, um, I'm trying to think, Mr. Person. He's produced a lot of tracks for mm -hmm. me. Um, I'm working with somebody new now. His name is uh, VJ, and he's going to be producing some stuff for me as well. That's great. Um, it's good to keep it in the family. Yeah. Because as people grow, as artists grow, of course you work with other people, but they seem to like forget about this area mm -hmm. and, and the sound that's here and the culture that's here. Is it open to your music? Have you found like easily becoming successful here? I do feel like the opportunities grow exponentially. So yes. if you do one thing, it can open the door for something else. I think mm -hmm. it's just for me, it's been a matter of being strategic as to what things yeah. I feel will build another opportunity. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been really good. I mean, things have really been just steadily moving along and I'm really mm -hmm. happy about it. And I think it's good for you because you're so authentic. And oh, we can see you. that in your performance <laughs> you. and even your online presence. Like oh, a lot of people, they're not the same person that they are online, but <laughs> you've been so open true. about like emotion, songwriting, even your looks, you have pictures everywhere. I'm like, <laughs> this is like the most Googleable guest we've had. <laughs> so going into that, like the emotions and things that you've openly dealt with, mm -hmm. is that kind of why your new project is called Lost and Found? Yes, because I do feel that in the times when we feel our most lost in life, we're mm -hmm. normally finding something about ourselves. It's like an integral part of who we are. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, especially in the social media age, people feel ashamed to talk about maybe some of the lower times. It's like yes. all just a highlight reel. And I don't believe in that. Mm -hmm. I'm just more, I'm a real person. Everyone goes through the same things, you know? Yeah. So I wanted to really expand upon that and make music that was relatable. And so people, if someone else was going through something similar, they wouldn't have to feel like they were alone in that plight, you know? Yeah, so what is the songwriting process like for you? Um, a lot of times it starts with a really good beat. Uh, I'm very blessed to have the producers that I work with who supply some amazing sound. Yeah. So a lot of times if I'm very inspired by the beat, I can come up with a concept and then I just start coming up with a melody. Sometimes I play it in the background and I'm doing other things. And then mm -hmm. if I come up with something catchy melody, I'm like, all right, I know what the concept is. I know what the melody is going to be. Now I can start writing. Mm -hmm. And um, if the beat's really good, I can, I can knock it out in like a very short amount of time. Okay. But um, sometimes some, some stuff is a little more challenging. It also depends because it's a very mood driven thing. So if I'm not having a good day, sometimes I got to take a step back, come back, do it another day. Yeah. Yeah. Because you have to put that in your music. And that's, you know how everyone says, oh, everyone likes singers better when they're going through something. <laughs> <laughs> that's when they make the good stuff. <laughs> I, I have heard that. Um, I will say that I took a step back before I made this project mm -hmm. to really get myself in a place that I felt would be the type of energy that I wanted to put into the music. Because Absolutely. I know people take that from your artistry it's pretty much an extension of who you are mm -hmm. so I wanted to make sure that they got the vibes that I you know I wanted to send like I yeah. wanted it to be something positive you have to know yourself and be authentic and it comes yes. through every way how do you use social me media to promote your music um, it's very helpful because I've actually met a lot of other artists via social media hashtags I find to be very uh, useful uh, through that people can obviously go and yeah. search and then you come up in like a, a big myriad of a bunch of other people but if mm -hmm. they like your stuff you know you've made a new connection and it's so it, cool to see a bunch of DC artists together yeah like, I love it. it's <laughs> like one of those squad goals things I'm like <laughs> I wish I could sing so I could join the band that's why I'm oh, black girl you go you go on <laughs> <laughs> right, to the band. I promise I won't sing but when we come back it's time to turn up the sound once again with the neo soul singer Allison Bullock oh, <laughs> Welcome back.
back to the sound. Britt Waters here with DC's own Allison Balak and her band. What do you have next up for us today? Uh, the next song that we're going to perform is Never Enough. What's that about? Um, it's about being in love with somebody and that person really having your back and you having theirs and just that support system that I feel it's just so it's so irreplaceable to f and when you find it you really got to yeah. Gotta hold on tight. So when you like date, do people think that all your songs is about them? Oh my lord, yes. <laughs> people have asked me like, so you gonna write a song about me, girl? Like the song gonna be about me? I'm like, don't piss me off because it could be a bad one. Oh, it could be. <laughs> all right, so I hope that that someone is watching right now. The good one. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, take I won't it away. tell. <laughs>
And for all of you watching, we'll see you again on the next edition of The Sound. Yay!